The Bible refers to you and I as wonderful personalities. It gave us appellage, appellations that points to our heritage in Christ. If you look at the Bible, everything God said about you is so wonderful. He said, you are a star. Genesis 15 verse 5. He said, you are a God. Psalm 82 verse 6. He said, you are a priest and a king. Revelation 5 verse 10. He said, you are the head and not the tail. John 2 8 verse 13. He said, you are a royal and peculiar person. 1 Peter 2 9. Blessed above all people of the earth. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 12, 14. It says, the crown of creation. Genesis 1 to the 8. This is not the preaching, so you don't need to. And hair of God. Galatians 4, verse 7. An ambassador for Christ. 7 Corinthians 5, verse 20. Just see how God do many things about you. There was nowhere in the Bible God refers to you as average. No, not one place. So you are too loaded. You are too what? With so much spiritual and mental potentials. He said you have the mind of Christ. So don't settle for mediocrity. Reach out for the top. God saw you and said you don't have the mind that created everything on earth is what you carry. All things were made by that mind. John 1 verse 3 and 1 Corinthians 2 verse 16. Not that you will say we have. So it's already inside of you. Then why are you not producing results like Jesus Christ? God never said you will have. He said you have the mind of Christ. And that mind is what created what it is? All things. All things were made by that mind. Then how come you carry that mind and be miscarrying on earth? But hear this and hear me well. Man is triune in nature. Just like God is God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Ghost. Man is a spirit. He has a soul. He dwells in the body. Is that through First Thessalonians 5 verse 23? Now, you are a spirit. The soul. With me, will, emotions, and the mind. Then we dwell where? In the body. We develop the spirit. Many of us develop. We fast. We pray. So we don't play with the spirit. We take care of our body. If you see people, they wear good perfume. They rub good creams. They will find makeup, find haircut, good suit. They don't play with their body. In fact, some people spend hours to take care of their body. Through, but many don't take care of their mind. Because the mental system, which is very important for success on earth, they don't have time for it. Let me say this to you. The mind, that's your mind, determines your level of success on earth. God never said, come, let us dress together. <laughs> Are you going to say now? He said, come, let us what? That is, use your mind to reason with me. I said, I want a thing. They said, you shall eat the good of the land. Verse 19. The brain of man is the principal factor that determines his success in life. That's why every progress can be traced to a mental activity. Reasoning makes rich, a wise man said. Let me say this to you, every one of us. Your value on earth is mostly from the mental region. And it is value that determines cost. The cost of any product it's a function of what? It's value. Now listen carefully, everyone. I said something on, on Sunday. If you are paid salary, that is the value placed on you. You have a PhD, and they pay you 60000 They have said, your PhD notwithstanding, this is our value. You are worth 60000 Do you understand me at all? So the salary you earn is what they have seen you and they give you as your what? I said, this is what you what? And ask yourself. So after you went to school, is that your what? I'm asking you a question. Decide after I'm through with this teaching. <laughs> that is 
whatever you are paid is what you're what? To earn more, you must learn more. Accept responsibility for change of results as to change levels. Now listen, listen carefully. The secret of value is in personal development. It's a what? That's where I'm going. The secret of your value is in your development. Two people can be in a team, they will not pay them the same. Their value differs. Their value what? The amount they want to pay in Mbappe is not the amount they will pay a defender of Real Madrid. They are the same team. Do you hear me at all? It's trying to leave PSG. It's trying to leave what? Even the owner of PSG said PSG should try and do without Mbappe. That he said, this man is of value. We have to let him go. Which, which value did the office place? If you leave an office, nobody remember that you left. You are useless. You want to resign. They say, okay, if you want to resign, go. <laughs> you left the office. Not even one person knew that you left. You have no value. You have no what? <laughs> you are valueless. So we're looking at tools for personal what? Development. This that will make you of value. This that will make you of what? Value. And value determines cost. And I'm going to tell you five things. That's what I said my teaching today will be loaded. <laughs> Tools for personal development. This that will make you of what? Value. Say right here. Are you getting me? This that will make you of what? Value. Number one. Discover your purpose. Discover your what? In Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning. So before God created you, he has finished with you. Discover purpose for living. Life without a purpose is an experiment. Life without purpose is a journey without destination. I pray you discover what you are born to be. In Proverbs 29, verse, Proverbs 19, 21, there are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. There are many things you want to do, but it's the one God created you to be that will stand. It's right here. For instance, the microphone was established in the mind of the manufacturer before he produced the, the production was made. Is that true? But it was produced. He knew it would be used for what? To give sound to people. So your beauty is in the place of wherever God has assigned you to be. The beauty of the fish is the water. That was where it came from. Is that true? God spoke to the water. The beauty of the bird is in the firmament. Your beauty is when you find your purpose. No devil can stop a man and woman of purpose. Now, nobody knows a product like the manufacturer. Let me say this to all of us. There is no ungifted person. Everybody on earth is gifted. They said he gave to every man. Matthew 25, 15, several ability and went his way. A man's gift will make room for him and make him stand before what? Proverbs 18, verse 16 and Matthew 25, verse 15. It is your gift that will make you. So I'll, I'll look inward. Say it one more time. So develop whatever God has placed on your inside. God is not going to make you of a man of value with something outside is what you have on the inside. It was from Adam God brought Eve out. True? He did not bring Eve out from something else. 
It was what David had, the sling that God used to bring Goliath down. He didn't use something outside. <laughs> Are you getting me, sir? It was the jawbone of an ass in the hands of Samson that God used to defeat the Philistines. It was the people in the house I was, were living in Victoria and God used to bring me to Portacot. Are you getting this, sir? Stop looking too far. Look at what you are good at doing effortlessly and keep developing it in that area of your life. Once you discover purpose, all things will work in your favor. May they work in your favor. So a discovery of your mission will bring an end to frustration. It will end today. A discovery of purpose is the beginning of profiting. It's right here. In case you have not discovered purpose, say, say God, help me to discover it. Say, Holy Spirit, help me to discover my purpose. It's not late. Abraham discovered purpose at 75. At when? I taught on the, the power of purpose in one of the old messages. Get that tape. After you have discovered purpose, hear this. Many have discovered purpose. They have known what they are called to do. They say, well, God called me. I'm a medical doctor. I'm a pastor. I'm a trader. They've known. But why are they of no value? I'm a businessman. I'm a teacher. I'm a this. They've dis they, they know what they are called to do, but they have no value. They have no what? Nothing of value. Nobody, even if they pass, you won't greet them. They are my trade. I do this. Number two, be sacrificial. Be what? Any purpose discovered without sacrifice will never be beneficial. Sacrifice is the act of giving up a thing for something you believe is worth more. It is also denying yourself of certain pleasure. For the success of an assignment or goal. Sacrifice is not a gift. It's a choice. There's no gift of sacrifice. You make a choice. You make a what? And we are presented with many choices. Every day. That moves us up. In the ladder of success. You must sacrifice time to achieve what God has called you to do. Let me say this to everyone. It is your extra impute that makes the ordinary extraordinary. Your extra what? That makes the ordinary extra. First class students don't have a different brain. They only read more than others. <laughs> do you hear me? It's the same brain you have, the first class. Just don't say, God, get. no, it's the same brain you have. It's just that he reads more than you. He's more disciplined more than you. True? When you go to a party, he stays in the class. Now, if God gave us a little brain, it's a lie. It's the same brain. But when you're busy pressing telephone, he's busy reading. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Shout hallelujah. In 1 Corinthians 9, verse 27, it said, I bring my body into what? Subjection. But I keep under my body and bring it into what? So, that is, I discipline myself. I make sacrifice contrary to the body. I want to sleep, but I wake up. So I hear. The part of anything great carries the cost of sacrifice. Now, for instance, look at Singapore. Singapore was part of Malaysia. Are you aware of that? Singapore was in Malaysia. It was from Malaysia Singapore carved out. Singapore was a third world nation, in quote. Third world is simply from your mind. Simply from where? Your mind. 
Now, the miracle of Singapore is that they did some things right and continue to do them right. I repeat, they did some things what? And they continue to do them right. There's nothing of value without a cost. It is your work that will determine your what. Let me say this all of us. There's no future for a lazy, idle person. The only way to have a world-class life, world-class business, world-class career, is to pay a world-class price. Champions do what they hate to get what they want. Champions what? You don't like to wake up early, but you have to wake up. You love sleep, but you say, no, I'll wake up. Because there's something I'm looking for. Shout hallelujah. Nothing great comes by wishing. It comes by paying the price of greatness. See yet a man diligent in his worth. He shall stand before what? Kings. Proverbs 22 to the 9. He shall not stand before men. See yet a man who is ready to pay the price. So I hear. Let me say this to all of us. Prayer, faith, fasting, they are no substitute for sacrifice. They only help you to secure divine backing. But they can never, there's no prayer, there's no fasting, there's no thing. For me to prepare for this message, I kept books on my table as if I was going for a research. It was calculus. It was what? I'll pick this material, I'll go through it, I'll go through this material, go through it. You know when a woman wants to cook soup, she takes small crefit, do like this. Takes small legusi, do like this. Takes small pepper, put inside. Then she look at it, she do like this. That's how women do. If your mother has been a cook, you know. So no, it's not sweet. They put again. Take small, too small. I say this soup is not well done. They cook it. I didn't sleep early. Are you hearing me now? Are you hearing me now? Is it that I, I don't like sleep? Who told you? Everybody loves sleep. There's nobody that not like sleep. But if you sleep, life will sleep off. Your prayers will be reduced to religious punishment if you are not living a sacrificial life. You cannot sit down and expect things to happen on their own. No way. Let me say this to all of us. Those of us who are career people. Going to work does not mean you are working. <laughs> the only evidence of work is productivity. How productive are you? I, 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 I was in the office. For five hours. For, no, I stayed in the office for 10 hours. What did I achieve for 10 hours? Say, it is time for me to give my assignment a sacrificial approach. Every great person go the extra mile. Check. Everyone who is of value, they go beyond where others stop. I was studying. Do you know that nine to five job will never make you a man of value. After you close five, you have to do something extra if you must be valuable. Nobody works eight to four, nine to five, they'll be of value. Every man of value, they work beyond eight hours. So here. Are you hearing me now? I learned to walk from where they my mentor. He will call you Midnight. And if you're sleeping, it will, not, it will show. He said, David, how are you? You know when you're sleeping, then you pretend your voice will show. <laughs> anyway, not that you can't rest, but you, nobody great sleeps too much. Do you want value? Do you want value? Can I tell you something? Having money is no value. You can have money and you have no value. I'm robbers, don't they have money? <laughs> Did you say Yahuba who repented? That you have money doesn't mean you have value. A, a man who has money can pass and nobody values him. Says, forget that thief. 
Value is not money, so you don't get confused. We live in a society where we think that everybody who has money is of value. There are many people who have money who have no value. Though money is part of value. Are you have said But that is not all. Number three, which is the most important. Number one, discover purpose. Number two, and then number three, keep improving. That's the, that's the major message. That's the most important. Keep what? Keep improving. Dedicate yourself to continuous learning. To earn more, you must know more. <laughs> Like here, this and the people of God, you must continually apply new methods and techniques in approaching any assignment given to you, any assignment you're involved in. Their future belongs to the knowledgeable, not just the hard workers. I repeat, the future belongs to those who know and not just hard workers. Listen, read. Messages, books of experts in that area. Keep working on yourself. Keep what? Success has no stopping place. The path of the just is like a shining light. Proverbs 4, 18. So success is an adventure. It's not a destination. It has no bus stop. The largest room in the world is the room for continuous improvement. We say I will continually improve. Like here, this and here, well, there is no limit in life except for the ones we set for ourselves. Make a commitment to grow daily. To grow what? Success is a continuous process. So here. Let me say this to all of us. Don't wait to be inspired by people. Inspire yourself. Don't say, if you push me, I walk. If they push you to walk in the office, you're a slave. Dream big and inspire yourself. And do what? The secret of success is found in our daily routine. Let me say this to all of us, all over the world, who is hearing me right now. If you keep repeating something over and over, then you have not learned anything new. Did you hear me at all? If you keep repeating what? You came to work, you did the work the same way you did it last year, then you have not learned anything new. Always be a better version of your yesterday as to keep Increasing your value. So to keep improving is not to get ahead of others, but to get ahead of ourselves. Don't think of beating other people. Think of beating your last record. Say here. So the future belongs to those who keep developing themselves. Shout hallelujah. I want to be very practical in my teaching. There's a product called Apple Products. Apple what? Apple Products, they keep improving on their previous ones. Every edition of Apple has something new. So the value keeps increasing. The price keeps increasing. I mean, understand. They have Apple SE, Apple 3, Apple 4, Apple 5, Apple 6, Apple 7, Apple 8, Apple 15, they have the Apple 16, they have the Apple 19 very soon. Now, as they keep appling, they are keep increasing. Their value keeps what? I'm not advertising for Apple, please. But it's a practical thing. They keep what? Improving. Their value keeps what? Increasing. And their worth kept increasing. I may not understand what I'm talking about. And you keep buying. Even though you're not producing. Hmm? Are you hearing me? 
That's how you are. The reason your value has not increased is because three years ago, where you are is where you are to today. That's right here. An experienced man, life story I read from a, a book, met a young man who was caught in a tree for five hours. He could not achieve much. So the experienced man who has been a man who has been doing that job called him and said, excuse me, can I give you a counsel? He said, I don't have time, 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 I'm, I, I'm facing my job. He said, go and sharpen your saw. You will reduce the time you're using to cut this tree. He said, I don't have time, I don't have time, I don't have time. So he was cutting that tree that he was supposed to cut down for 30 minutes for five hours. Instead of you to listen to people who have something to offer you, I don't have time, I don't have time, everybody don't have time, I'm always in a hurry. You have been doing your job the same way for 15 years. He said, I have 25 years experience. No, you have one year experience repeated 25 times. <laughs> Don't use the same knowledge to do your assignment for too long. Improve your knowledge to get better results. To get what? Don't just work hard. Work smart. I repeat, don't just work. Work smart. I'm working hard. <laughs> he used five hours to cut one tree that could be cut in 30 minutes. All he needed to do is to do what? Sharpen. Sharpen your skill. Sharpen what? Skill. And your value will increase. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. As a sharpen what? And your value will increase. Say here. To keep improving, A, be informed. What's the other? Be what? Be informed. Because you can't improve if you are not informed. Information is the gateway to man's advancement. Information will motivate you and give you motion to get you to your destination. Information will make you to be self-motivated by the things you have gathered so you can go on. Because when you have information, you, just, you know why? Success inches on your level of knowledge. The more information you have, the better you do your assignment. Is that clear, sir? Glory to God. And there is no gift of information. You consciously acquire information. Information will not just jump on you. You acquire it. The mistake we make in this world, we think that going to school is development. Going to school is different from personal development. It is what makes your value is your personal worth. Development. School is important, but that's not it. B, study. B, what did I say? Study. To keep improving, study. Study people ahead of you. Study people ahead of you does not necessarily mean that you must go and stay with them. Read their materials. Study. It's a vital tool for personal development. It's a I, Daniel, understood by books. Daniel 9, verse 2. It's a study to show yourself approved. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2, 15. Studying is rubbing your mind with God and other greater minds. Take Bible and read. This is the most powerful success book on earth, say the Bible. There's no book on success that is as powerful as this book. Every aspect of life is contained in this book. Read this book and also read materials from proven authors. So here, no matter the field of endeavor, there are materials to study in order to develop yourself. There's, if you say you're an architect, there are materials on architecture. If you say you are an engineer, there are materials on engineering. Don't just stay with your small local mind and think that you're improving. In one small cocoon. Are you hearing me now? So for the earth, Isaiah 11 verse 9, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as what has covered, you see. Be studious as to attain success. So be studious. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. In every field, someone has made a mark. Study what that person has written. You're a lecturer. Read other lecturers who have made a mark in your field. Don't carry your small knowledge you have in one university and think that you are a local champion. Your value will never increase. Your value will never what? Increase. 
Now listen carefully. For instance, you're a lecturer. If you increase your capacity and value, even if you're in Nigeria, they'll tell to come and give lectures in Harvard because of the value. Because of what? But there are lecturers who have never left their university for any, to any other school on invitation. He's a professor, but he's a professor only in his school. What? And there are lecturers who, it's not salary they pay them in Nigeria. They pay them hard currency because they give lectures from one school to another. Because of the value. Because of what? They've improved themselves. Where they say, there's a professor, when I was board of regents of Covenant University, a Yoruba man, this man is sound. When he's speaking, every professor in the board will keep quiet. He says, I'm going for a lecture in the United Nations today. Something Okubo Bola Bola is the same sense with B L O B O L A. It's sound. Sound means sound. If he opens his mouth, go to my library, you'll be full of a gasset. Today he's having lectures here. The next is on invitation here. Next is on invitation here. The next is looking for, looking for him here. The next is every day is looking for one way to all over the world, not Nigeria. And there are those, they, they, nobody has invited David to the next university. No, now make yourself a what? Value. Make yourself of value by improving yourself. So here. And then your what will also increase. Shout hallelujah. I'm almost done. I thought I was going to take too much time, but it's funny enough, I'm shocked that I'm done. Because the many ones will not take me 10 minutes. I didn't know. Number four. I thought I was going to take some more time. I was afraid. I, am I too fast? Get the message. Be scarce. Be what? Be scarce. Scarcity makes you of great value. <laughs> you can't find gold and diamond in a provision store. <laughs> you can't buy Rolls Royce in a normal car stand. Make yourself valuable as to be valued. Don't be everywhere. If you want your value to increase, be scarce. Be what? Now listen, <laughs> you can't find Apple products everywhere. That's why it is expensive. That's why it's what? You can't walk into the nation and say, I want Apple. Apple have designated what? Shops. They are very expensive. Even as a young lady, don't be everywhere. No man will place value on you. <laughs> they say she's very cheap. Even women of value are not found everywhere. So the man who comes after her to marry her places high value. But she has made herself valuable. When he sees some kind of people propose to you, don't get angry. You have not placed value on yourself. He said, I don't know this kind of voice coming to talk to me. They look at you, you have no value. It's both to men. No woman wants to marry a man that has not made himself valuable. Every woman you see, you like. You have no value. They even say, they say this man has no taste. Even in the world, they say, this may not get this. Ah, everybody will wear skate nine, they follow. <laughs> Even in the world. Is that not true? So make yourself valuable. Look for quality, not quantity. Anything that is scarce is very expensive. Refuse to be, to be a cheap commodity. Make yourself what? 
Scarce. Look at what? Check anytime there's scarcity of anything, the price goes up. True? So when you are scarce, your price goes up. <laughs> are you getting me? Are you? Sometimes, with no out of pride, there are some places they invite you, not because you will not go, you will go, but you look at yourself and say, is it my value to be here? So no, bigger than, not the church, but you look at your, it's not every occasion you attend. People of value are selective. They are what? Not every, every party you appear, everywhere you appear. Every, they say today, uh, so so party, you are there. They say today, so so play, they will chop and drink, you are there. Today, it's, uh, no, 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 no. Everywhere, I think it's pride. Social media, they see you for one go movement, you feel. <laughs> <laughs> today, we're in Nabia, you there, yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Be a person of value. Be scarce. Finally, number five. Shout hallelujah. Shout a big hallelujah. Be disciplined. If you must be of value, be what? Disciplined. Discipline is doing something you hate to create something you love. It is possessing a sense of mission in the pursuit of life. Discipline is operating as demanded, not as convenient. The throne belongs to the disciplined. Discipline is the most important single quality you can develop for a lifelong success. You can conquer the world with personal discipline. Take responsibility of your life, otherwise you will end up a liability. Be conscious of personal discipline. So here. Listen, you know why value is, discipline is very important? I'll be very practical. Sometimes I use natural things. Jesus used things they were seeing to teach. There are three world-class footballers at that age of 30 and above. One is Ronaldo. Second is Lionel Messi. And third is the Brazilian called Neyman. They, these three people are 30. None of them is up to 40. One is very Talented, called Neyman, but has not won one ballon trio. Lack of discipline. It's in Saudi Arabia. That's a place of retirement. That's a place of what? That's a place of retirement. Ronaldo is good to go there because. He has read the peak of his career. Now he's making money to enjoy his life. But not a young man to go there. He goes to party, goes to party, he goes to party, he goes to party. Now, because of lack of discipline, he does not do exercise. So every small push, he has injury. Football is not only skill, though. they do exercise. So when they hit them, they don't, they don't fall down like that. He, every little thing, he has a major injury. Because one of the exercise is a nightclub. You can be talented and be of no value if you are not disciplined. If you're not what? Discipline is mandatory if you want to achieve success, I say so. It's I bring my if you read First Corinthians 9, 24, 27, you see, we've read 27 before. Give life what it takes, and you get the best out of it. Be a lot to yourself. Be a lot what? As to accomplish your God given. Tax. He said, All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not worth. Experience. 
1 Corinthians 6, 12. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. No one will ever grow on this focused, dedicated, and disciplined. Now, all I've said, everything I've said, is summarized in one sentence I wrote. Anything you have discovered about yourself, keep improving, and you'll be a man of more value. Anything you have discovered, keep what? Make sure your today is better than your yesterday. And your tomorrow will be better than what? Today. Your value will keep what? Increase. That's all I've said. All the teaching for today. No matter if you're a writer, improve your writing. Don't write the way you wrote five years ago. If you're a preacher, keep improving in your messages. Don't preach the way you preached five years ago. If you're a footballer, keep increasing, improving. Don't play football the way you played last year. Whatever you're doing, Look back and take personal appraisal and make sure anything you're doing, there's an improvement. Your value will also increase. I mean, understand what I'm saying? You're cooking in a restaurant. The food should be sweeter than yesterday. Are you getting me? I told my chef something very wonderful. I said, you're a good cook, but you have not added anything new from what you learned since you came. He was shocked. I said, whatever you are taught, by the French men are the things you know. But uh, since you came to now, there's not, not one extra thing have you added to the things you know. So you have not improved. There are some of us, since we left university, it is what we learned in school we only know. Outside that, nothing additional has been added to us. So we can be making nonsense where we are here. But they, now, do you know there are people who live in Nigeria today, they will not be employed in the Western world with first class. Because they will not qualify. Hope you know. They have not improved. Value is simple, continuous improvement. I repeat, value is what? Continuous improvement. Toyota has a language called K-I-A-Z-E-N. It's a Japan, Japan language called Kaizen. It means continuous improvement in Japan, Japan language. So, if you want to be of value, what do you do? Continually improve. Continually what? Now, let me be very practical. Did our midweek service change? Hmm? Since this year started, did the Thursday service change? Yes, our Thursday service increased. True? I had to improve from last year. If I was doing it like last year, you won't come this year. I had to work on myself to shift. So you... You now see Thursday service as if it's Sunday. And you come. True? Now, if I keep doing like last year, it will go down. So I have to say no. So I have to shift the way I teach. The way I taught now is like I'm teaching for a seminar. True? Tell me how you will not come next Thursday. Thursday to hear something new. Well chored. True? So if I say no, but you don't want to touch me. So I must do like... I would carry the thing I taught in Bible school. By now, my value will drop. If you want your value not to drop, keep what? Even in a relationship, keep what? Don't converse with your husband the way you conversed last year. You, you think it's funny? Last year you were telling him, my husband, Narafa go tayo, Narafa go tayo, Narafa go tayo. <laughs> the man will look at you. In a generation where we are talking something beyond that, the man will get tired, your value will drop. Your value what? If your husband comes and goes straight to the bedroom to lie down, don't say the man know they talk to me. You, nothing, you are making no sense. Your talk is nonsense. They call it nonsense. It means nothing, no sense in the talk is nonsense. Including the men, you come back with your wife. You know, my wife, we just go for Ruo Kuroko. We, we, we gave land one year. We, we get two food, land. They, you are discussing land with your wife. Who we went to invite you? He said, This man, they like to talk to me. Why would she talk to you about land? Land. In the Korean land. <laughs> That's what you discuss with a modern woman. He says, she doesn't like to talk to me. She will get bored. You will force her to talk. She will be tired. Your value will drop. Keep 
improve. That's how your value keep increasing. Rise to your feet. Shout hallelujah. Shout a big hallelujah. Shout a loud hallelujah. Do you need prayer here? No. You only need sense. You only need what? As not to be a person of nonsense. You have to make sense. Tax yourself. Everybody of value does not beg to be promoted. In your office, just make yourself what? Don't agitate for promotion. Make yourself what? They will promote you. Don't say, it. Hey, nobody wants to recognize me. Just make yourself what? And you will sell. You do what? You will sell. You will. You will sell. <laughs> Everybody, you have discovered though, now, pay those prices. Pay what? If you're a singer, keep improving the way you sing. If you're a writer, keep improving the way you write. If you're a teacher, keep improving your teaching. Everything you do, keep what? Then your value will keep increasing. Don't be a teacher that you are still using the formula they taught you 10 years to teach today. No. Teaching has gone beyond that level. Teaching is now more scientific. It's more what? So you have to improve. Do you know there are lecturers today who cannot use e-board in Nigeria? There are many. Because they were taught with marker. In this modern age, when everything is computerized, somebody in a school Program everything. They finish, left, they finish exams. The following two days, the result is out. As they do overseas. After that vast chancellor left the school, the next one took the school backward. To analog. As it was. <laughs> Just imagine you come here now. And now put bell. Bell here. Then when when you when you pray, 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 and now carry the bell and do like this. <laughs> or I do like this. The bell is like <laughs> you will call me say, Papa, is that shrine? <laughs> Look, value is important. Value is what? Just keep what? Improving. You don't beg for, just keep improving. That, till your time on that is over. Your value will never drop. Your value will never, and then you see how expensive you are. Pray, oh Lord, whatever makes me to live a mediocre life, I curse it. Let everything in me come alive to be a man and woman of value. Go ahead and pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Every force of mediocrity. I pray for the spirit of excellence and place value in my life. Cause the spirit of mediocrity in your life. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> if I tell you, God speaks to me the very far way. As simple as what we call granite, they call it peanut. Now, granite used to be inside paper. How many of you met that generation? They do like the <laughs> and then one calabar boy would just roll the paper. <laughs> and the teeth with one wood on their head, they make the wood like this rubber. Prap, prap. Now listen. Now that granite, somebody of value moves it to put in a bottle. True? From bottle now, you just change to a small sachet and seal the mouth. 
to smaller sizes, the value will also increase. The value of paper cannot be the value where you, where you pack it properly. True? Just simple, from one level to another. Just keep improving. Keep what? Improving. You call it granite. When you pack it, you call it peanut. It's the same granite. You now call it what? Because it has been packaged. It's granite that a quiet man gives you. <laughs> True? As simple as that. That is how, even when you're doing anything, keep what? You started sewing with pop off. You know pop off? Where they put foam at the shoulder, then the foam will pull out. You, you now push it inside. Now you have to go to another level. In every field, though, in every work, if you stop improving, your value will drop. Your value, just stop improving. Value will drop. If value is dropping, then no, you are not improving. Don't say the devil. You heard the man said he was not paying tight, he was buying the devil. He thought it was witches and Jesus. So small it is, you're thinking it's witches. Is your how can they come to your restaurant? The food you cook, when they touch salt is more than the man said, No. This thing will affect my health. <laughs> I won't tell you something I did that stopped salt. I have a staff. He gives me salt every day. Every, I complain till I got tired. I say, look, you can't punish me at my age with salt like this. He will do as if they, they turn the salt. I complain. I got, I got tired. For three years, I complained. And it was not ready to change. So one day, he gave me salt that was excess as I said, come. I said, take this raw salt, put it inside. I said, eat it. I said, take raw salt. Put it aside. I said, eat. From that day, he didn't give me salt again. <laughs> I don't know how God gave me the wisdom. I said, this thing, I'm tired. Can't be punishing me like this. I said, you taste the salt. I said, eat it. I said, <laughs> From that day, he left me with salt. He had to improve by it. Some of us want to improve by, by force. But be of a person of value. Don't be... Everywhere. Don't be what? Everywhere. Uh, make yourself valuable. Scars. Yeah, young lady, don't be everywhere. Any more see. Say, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> Even where they don't invite you, you go say, Hi, day. <laughs> they say, That girl. Uh, no. Make your, package yourself. Do what? Make yourself of value. And if once you are valuable, a young man will come to marry you. Every person respects somebody of value. Do you go to a shop where they do it is anyhow? No. Why do you go to shops that are things are scarce? Value. I'm sure you learned some today. Go and improve yourself. That's all. You stretch for your hands towards the communion. And pray that just like Jesus kept improving. Jesus kept what? The Bible said. When they saw him, they said, on land, man. He taught himself how to read. All right. They marveled when they saw Jesus reading. Who taught him? Self-what? Development. Self-what? Lord, as I partake of your flesh and blood, your nature of continuous improvement become my life style. I cause everything contrary to your nature. Don't hang around mediocres. Will affect you. The what? Mediocrity affects somebody. The words they speak, the attitude will affect your mind. So don't stay around the mediocre. It affects your mind. You say, Lord, take me off those who are not adding to me and bring those who are to me my way as I partake of your flesh. He chose his disciples after prayers. Lord, from today, as I take off flesh and blood, let those who add value to me come my way. Those who not add value to me, take off my them out of my life. Is that true? See my relationship with the other people. Is he adding value to me? There are some people I meet now today, they will destroy me. When they meet you, they say, oh boy, this will not be so. I suffer, 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 and I will suffer for ministry. That you are not suffer, suffer, it will affect your mind. Or you people can't talk such so around you. You say, my son, it's possible. You can make it. Don't hang around a vulture if you are an eagle. 
Stretch your hands. Lord, as I partake of your flesh and blood, your very nature flows in me. Pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. As I partake of your flesh and blood, Very nature flows in me. Life flows. In me. Strength flows in me. Health is restored in the name of Jesus. It's a partake of your flesh and blood. Your very life flows inside of me. Health flows on my inside. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Whatever does not represent Christ is caused in the name of Jesus. His nature will flow in our bodies. Everyone with a health challenge, as you partake of flesh and blood, that disease is destroyed. He said, Because I bear upon me the mark of the Lord, let no man trouble me. I don't want to hear arm robbers pursue me, kidnappers carry me. No, that should not be a portion. As this blood touches your head, every evil pass over. Amen. If there be any agent of the devil, even right now, spying any on any of us, I cause them with death in the name of Jesus. Amen. As the blood came upon the little, not one Egyptian after the Egyptian of Israel escaped. Any kidnapper, as I send after you will not escape the dagger of God in the name of Jesus. I decree them to be drowned in the judgment of God in the name of Jesus. The blood that rescues you, the same blood, destroy them in the name of Jesus. Not one arm robber, as I say, no kidnapper, would dear your life. Before they touch you, they are dead. In the name of Jesus. May the mark of the blood put an exemption mark on you in the name of Jesus. That evil shall be far from you. Dead will be far from you. Sickness will be far from you. Evil men will be far from you. As we have decreased, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name. So when you take the flesh and blood, you also take a little on your forehead. Is that clear? As a mark of exemption from all evils. But if you are not born again, how do you continually develop when you are not born again? Wherever you are, you have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Pray this prayer after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I have come to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose to save me. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name. If you offer that prayers, keep standing. Well, let us take their seats.